this video will be about getting to know your UB template. Stage 1 is the part of the template that we were talking about today and it is identify desired results. The unit summary and the unit overview are important parts. You're not designing in a vacuum, you're designing to meet certain course requirements and to meet the professional organization that is the accrediting body of your school or your college and so you need to gear your content toward those competencies and standards that are required by the organization. So on this particular part of the template you will list your organization, the URL for them, and their competencies likely can be found someplace in the um, in that online document and you will put the URL for the competencies also. For the unit you will be kind of specific about what the unit title is and how long you intend for it to, to be taught and where does it fit in the class and how it will be delivered. You will also talk about who are you? Are you the course designer? Are you part of a developing team? What's your angle on developing this course? Standards and competencies refer to the accrediting ag agency for whom your course is ultimately being, to whose standards your, the, your course is being taught. And so here you will list the standards and competencies that fit your, that you get from their website and, or printed as far as that goes. and. Um, list the codes that go with them because they will be numbered or if they're not you need to number them and keep track of what they are and then what content standards or competencies address your unit and so you will list them. Transfer is what should the student be able to do with this information in the future? What should you be able to accomplish even if you are not there? And you're going to be talking about um, if you learn something, what can he do with it? And what competency code that we've discussed does, does it fulfill? Meaning. The meaning of your unit is um, initially starts with defining that is with essential questions. These will be questions that are not going to have a yes or no answer. They will be questions that generate conversation, that spark interest, that maybe cause controversy. There will be their big questions and they also will have competency codes associated with them and knowing what the nature of the questions is uh, will lead you to get to the understandings. The um, understandings are, f are finally then what the student will carry with them for perhaps the rest of their life and and these are understandings that are not they understand that the Battle Bunker Hill happened on such and such a date, but that war is has many facets to its causes, and everybody's a loser in a war. There will be understandings that go beyond facts. However, your students will learn some facts, and of course, and here again you have a chance to list what those facts and basic concepts should be and pair them up with the competency codes that come from the accrediting agency. Your student may learn some skills in your course and those skills should also be listed and have competency codes associated with them. We will continue this discussion and when we go into stage two and stage three. Thanks for listening.